Hello, friends. This reflection will be for Holy Trinity Sunday. We worship one God in the Trinity and the Trinity in unity. Those are the words from the, the Athanasian Creed that was named after St. Athanasius. So, friends, most of us are wondering what is the point of the Trinity that comes the Sunday after Pentecost? Well, if you may recall, on Pentecost Sunday, the Spirit of God descended upon the twelve apostles like a dove and the Blessed Mother. And soon, these people, these men and the Blessed Virgin Mary were commissioned for a special mission. And that was to go to every corner of the globe and proclaim God's love to others. The point of this Sunday, as we this is the first Sunday after Pentecost, and as we are back to ordinary time in case we forgot, is that we celebrate the mystery of God's love. So let's break down, let's break down the Trinity first off. God the Father created the universe in love. The Christian understanding is quite different. Though faith is not tied to a particular theory on the details of creation, it does present an answer to the why. Why did God create the universe? The answer is his love. God's love was so perfect and complete that he wanted to share it with a creature that could authentically and genuinely love and be loved. That is why he created man. And in his deep sleep, God created woman. Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. It is really amazing that I really share this as we are navigating as often like Trinity Sunday tends to be smack dead somewhere in the midst of Pride Month. And not to go, but I would be reflecting on this in a different video. When we have this whole thing, love wins, love is love. But I think some people misunderstand their definition of love as opposed to God's definition of love. God's definition of love can be found through the Father. Even in the book of Genesis when he created man and woman. And he created everything because it is good. So why does evil exist? It is because we have this thing called free will. And if we don't do Things that God wants us to do, guess what? Evil exists because of our poor decisions or our lack of action to stop evil in our midst. Moving on. God the Son, through the incarnation of Jesus, he takes on a human form to show us what God's love and to invite all of mankind to participate more fully in the divine life of love. He took on the brokenness through his passion, death, and resurrection and healed mankind from every sin, delivering us from death and evil. Through the sacraments, particularly baptism, we are joining the love of God who is love. This union provides the lifeblood of, life of love so that we can know love and to share God's love with others. Now, God the Holy Spirit. Now many of you are wondering, what's the point of the Holy Spirit? God the Holy Spirit guides us along this path of life. He draws us in love throughout our lives to the Father and the Son. Think of it as like a magnet, drawing its object to union. In his letter to the, in his letter to the Romans, St. Paul reminds us, which is the second reading, that we speak of the strength of Christian hope being rooted in love. Love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. It is through the Holy Spirit we know the love of God. He shares that with us. And in turn, we must share it with others. Even St. John said in his first letter that God is love. Surely, you probably had your ears bent too much by your pastor every given Sunday when you keep hearing this whole God is love homily St. Paul again reminds us in his letter to the Corinthians faith, hope, and love these three remain but the greatest of these is love 
90% of the songs you hear on the radio, I can assure you, are all love songs. Yet, they miss the mark. Maybe by a full mile of the true definition of love. I'm not going to go down the list of all those songs you hear on the radio. But the love is in the title somewhere. So friends, we must reclaim love. I come from a city that has a park called Love Park. And there's that statue, that piece, which was designed by Robert Indiana. And it has became a popular thing. It became a postage stamp back in 1973. Post office used the word love. But of course, it has, let's face it, love has been misused. It has been twisted to fit people's own agenda. But here's the good news. We can reclaim that for God's purpose. You can too. The Catechism reminds us. Catechism 234 reminds us that the mystery of the Most Holy Trinity is the central mystery of Christian faith and life. It is the mystery of God in himself. It is therefore the source of all the other mysteries of faith, the light that enlightens them. It is the most fundamental and essential teaching. St. Elizabeth of Trinity is famous for this, fame, this quote. O oh my three, my all, my beauty, infinite solitude, immensity in which I lose myself. Bury yourself in me that I may bury myself in you until I depart to contemplate in your light the abyss of your greatness. Life with the Trinity is truly the whole point of the Christian faith and the goal of every human life. Because, let us face it, without love, there is no life. Without life, no human being can know love. Friends, as we, as we commemorate the Holy Trinity, let us show God, what, let us show the world what love is through our acts of charity. And it doesn't have to take a PR campaign from Target when they put all the pride stuff in your face because I find that to be nothing but perversion. And let's face it, we are seeing it unfold in our eyes as we are trying to come out with this pandemic and people are starting to go back into the classrooms. God's love conquers everything. It conquers the hatred, the ignorance, but most importantly, but most importantly, the, the, the misconceptions we all have about the church teachings. So friends, today, take that first step to share God's love with others. Love is not love. Love, as St. Paul reminds us in the Corinthians, he lays it out perfectly what it is and what is not. Love is not lust. Love is not perversion. Love comes from God. Love does not come from sodomy. Sodomy is the devil. And he wants you to use people, no matter what the gender is. Don't use people. Love people. As Fulton Sheen reminds us, love people and use things. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. We're all without end. Amen. God bless. And may love win when you call upon the Holy Spirit.